Hey Capricorn, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from Moon Pie Tarot. If you are new, welcome. Please smash that like button and do subscribe. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome. This is going to be your love reading for the next two weeks for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Uh, all the links you need, personal readings, extended readings, everything you need is in the description box below, so do check that out. Okay, so Capricorn, let's take a look. You're starting with camera, reminiscing, keepsake, perception, learning from the past, and making memories. So you've got somebody here, Capricorn, who is, who's got you on their mind, okay? Looking, looking at your pictures, reminiscing, trying to see, like, perceive, perceive, <laughs> what am I trying to say? If somebody's learned a lesson, okay, and um, looking maybe to make some memories with you. Now, this could be a past person, Capricorn, this could be somebody new. Let's take a look and see what the messages are here with this person. What's going on with this person? Yeah, there you go. Page of Swords definitely watching you checking you out okay definitely checking you out very curious about you capricorn um now i don't know do you have pictures up somewhere they could be checking you out maybe you're maybe you're on a dating site or you're just on a social site or something um looking at new pictures looking at old pictures very curious someone wanting to know more about you spying seeking some truth all right let's get on okay at the higher font taurus energy here somebody's looking for a commitment with you committed relationship oh the moon in reverse okay pisces energy here as well i'm just hearing a message in their dreams they they were they i don't know how this is how I can explain this so th there's a possibility they may have had dreams about you and now they're seeing you in the 3d but this is definitely seeking truth someone looking to see if you are involved with another person um, this could be somebody that you work with Capricorn or at your job okay yeah but they're kind of like so it's <laughs> interesting Okay, how can I say this? They're, they're kind of hiding, or they're just looking or, or sp spying without you knowing, or they don't want you to know that they're looking at you. Like, it's kind of hidden. And I just say that because with the Two of Swords, you know, the eyes are, are like, they look maybe looking through their glasses. You might have a pair of those glasses that just go all the way across the face like that. Just kind of hiding a little bit here as far as watching you. So I'm hearing partially out in the open with the moon in reverse, but maybe acting like they're not interested, which is weird. I feel like this person, it's spying. I feel like they're looking to see if you're involved. Maybe they're going to approach you. At some point, could be in the, I mean, it could be in the next two weeks, but looking to see if you're involved, trying to figure that out, excuse me, trying to make a decision on whether or not to approach you this week. Okay, let's see, anything else here Capricorn needs to know? You might already know them. You might, okay. The devil, yeah, kind of... <laughs> Maybe looking to see if, definitely looking to see if you're attached. That's what I feel like is going on here. You have a love interest. You have somebody here who is interested in you, Capricorn, for sure. Could be another Capricorn. Pisces, Taurus energy. They're kind of standing back a little bit. There's a lot of hesitation coming from this person's side. Uh, not ready to approach yet. Putting up some pretty stiff boundaries. This person's been hurt before. I mean, who hasn't, right? But they're definitely trying to 
get some kind like there's there's a strong attraction i'm going to tell you that there's a very strong attraction from this person towards you okay let's see so cap if you feel like you know who this is or you feel like there's someone maybe at work or somewhere at a workplace maybe a church or some kind of building that you always go into you see this person you might be wondering if they're interested in you you might be picking up some kind of vibe the next couple of weeks or maybe you already have been yes they're definitely interested in you let's see what you what you have here what are what are your messages capricorn oh you've got judgment this is open yourself up to this okay reveal reveal something to them oh yeah reach out i'm hearing start start up a conversation with this person yes or even just like say hello or inquire i don't feel like this person is shy or anything like that um i just feel like they're kind of sussing you out right now and maybe you're with someone already and this is somebody new um they're sussing you out to try to see if you're available so if you're interested in this person, you know who they are, or if it comes up in the next couple weeks, your message here is to open up, reveal <laughs> that you are available if you are. Okay. So you have the Six of Swords in the reverse. So this is an energy of... Um, stalling right so i kind of feel like when you're in this person's energy or periphery or in the in the area or around them in some way the message here is stall don't leave too quickly like stay they're saying stay don't move don't move like if like for example if you go into like a store and they're in there and you know like you always go in the store and this person seems to be interested i'm hearing just don't go in and grab your things and leave just kind of hang linger they're saying linger a little bit linger around this person's energy or around them in some way this is a love match yes so hmm you know even if this is someone that you are connected with but there isn't like much communication uh, they are definitely trying to figure you out and i feel like the message here is to reveal reveal yourself to this person and i'm not talking about taking your clothes off or flashing i mean just open yourself up if you want to be with them or if you're interested in them that's what i'm hearing they might be wondering if you would be. So I feel like it, the message really overall is to throw that you need to throw them a bone. Yeah, leap of faith. You need to kind of throw them a bone. Right when I said that, right? We got a little doggy here. <laughs> throw them a bone, but don't be desperate because I feel like, you know, the fool here is taking a leap of faith, but the dog's like, hey, 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 you're about to go off the side of the cliff. Like, don't get yourself... Don't put yourself so available that you kind of are like, not that you would do that anyway, Capricorn, I know that's not your style, but try not to put yourself so in front of this person, like right in their face, because that might kind of, it just, just don't do that. That's what I'm hearing. Take the leap of faith. As far as like making yourself available and opening yourself up to this person because they're very much i feel very much interested very much attracted to you especially physically very strong physical attraction here we go king of wands okay this could be a fire sign aries leo Sag. but this is also coming across to me as your energy too even though you're a capricorn you might have fire in your chart somewhere you probably have leo somewhere everybody does but this is being bold and being confident and i feel like it's about you making the first move and and in a way where it's being the first mo move in as far as like showing yourself to be available to this person to have a conversation or to talk or to 
I don't know, get, get the ball rolling. That's what I mean. I don't see this person in the next couple weeks really pursuing you. I feel like they're very curious about you and they're interested and they're very attracted to you and they're seeking some truth. But I feel like, I, yeah, right, I know, I hear you. Well, why won't this person just step up and ask me if I'm single? Yeah, not everybody does that. Doesn't mean that they're weird or anything, but it, it can just be that they are not ready yet. So that's why I feel like the message here is to throw this person a bone, throw them a bone, Aquarius energy, Gemini, Scorpio, Pisces, Taurus, another Capricorn, uh, Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries showing up here, okay? Um, so even if, like with pictures, right? Even if you are, you know, on some kind of social app or dating site or something along those lines, <clears throat> I don't know if this is like reach out to this person or it's on social media, put a like on a photo or something. It, it's just kind of to get something started. I guess in other words, like I'm not saying that you have to pursue this person. It's just, I, I, I feel like for you, it's pursue in the sense of that you're not closed off. It's, a, it's like, um, it's not you chasing, but it's just kind of showing in some way that you're available do you know what i mean to be pursued that's what i feel like the message is but it really just depends too um as far as like male or female i guess for some it does but you know i don't know who i'm talking to here mostly females so i feel like pursue in the way that you show you're available all right, you have forgiveness. Forgiving yourself or another will help you move forward. For some of you, this might be somebody that you're already connected with and there just might be this person is looking to see if you wanna talk, if there was some kind of argument or something. Um, looking to see if you are available to have some kind of communicate communication or make up after something, uh, a situation that might have happened. And if you're ready to talk to this person, that's the same message. Make yourself available to have that conversation. You have lean on your inner circle during this time for support. Okay, you do have twin flame. Wow, Capricorn. So this does look like it could be a twin flame connection. Might have been an argument over finances if you and your twin have been together, or still together, or just maybe having a spat financial challenges affecting this connection so it could be a work thing right where it's kind of like oh don't know if i want to get involved with someone at work so there might be this hesitation because of that okay that's the biggest message that i'm getting all oh, these messages are, are really what's sticking out to me most let's get a couple of charms oh they gave you three okay I'm seeing a cruise. Someone's taking a cruise. Uh, yeah, we have starfish. We also have poinsettia. There's a poinsettia. Somebody has a connection to poinsettias. And you also have a turquoise four leaf clover. Okay, so that might be somebody's favorite color, turquoise. Or somebody might have a turquoise four-leaf clover, like a key ring or maybe a faded green um, shamrock somewhere. Could be like a tattoo, colored tattoo where it's faded or something that's been sitting in the window where the color has faded. I'm also seeing, uh, someone's thinking about going skiing somewhere or planning a trip in the future for skiing starfish here does give me a feeling of just walk yeah walking along a beach if you're not going on a cruise stopping off somewhere walking along a beach collecting starfish or picking up beach items for a home for like decor and then poinsettia and it's interesting i mean that could be somebody's name or somebody has a connection to that 
but this kind of gives me this feeling of like it's white I'm seeing a white white poinsettias they're saying there might be a connection from the past or someone that's passed away that loved white poinsettias or has poinsettias still up in their house usually that's like a winter flower viewed as a winter flower a connection to white poinsettias all right Capricorn I'm gonna leave that there for you I will be back in the next two weeks which will be July 21st for your following two weeks reading so again click that like button and subscribe if you enjoy my channel if you're a returning subscriber Hello everyone, welcome back. And uh, yeah, all the links, everything you need, you description box below. All right, one. take care. No one likes being like two. You made this mess and left me with the peace.